I'm just a shadow. <laughs> Eighty nine point nine Camel J, the people station. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, it started uh, 1976 and, uh, you know, started back then when radio was kind of different, you know, when it comes to a lot of uh, the music itself. It was either you played one style of music or you played the other. But the uh, combination of mixture between playing R&B, blues, jazz, reggae, all of that together was a different kind of thing. And that's pretty much the style of music and how we played here. And also you have gospel and also the blues and the jazz. Today's time, everything is more hip hop and more, you know, glamorized on how many cars you got, how big your rims are. North Minneapolis. This is your, this is your home. Oh, this is, yeah, there's, there's, there's a thing that we all have called NFL and it doesn't stand for the National Football League. It's North Side for life. What it is, it's the people. It's like if Spike called and said, we're doing this, that's what got done. Well, back then, it was, it was kind of like the difference between black and white. You know, most black people didn't hang out with white people. You know, most Jews didn't hang out. I mean, it was that whole separate thing that exists. So it's like travel space. You know, it's like when here there's Ocean Highway, there's Penn, there's Broadway. But then on the east side of it, there's a river, which is northeast. Well. We couldn't just go over to the northeast side and just hang out because when you did, because of your race and your color, you had issues. When you look at Dr. King Jr., when I was little, I didn't understand, you know, the real fight that was going on. But it was about having the opportunity of being equal and nonviolent. Everybody had a part to play. But like I said, again, if you just sit on the side and you do nothing, it still affects you. You know, even right now, I still think about, you know, Dr. King and what he stood for and what he did and the growth that we still need to make. Dr. King always talked about nonviolence, nonviolence. But then when you're living in a violent world, what do you do? I don't care what color you are, what race you are, that has no bearings on breathing the same air that I breathe. He's been a warrior for years and he's been one of those persons that I look up to and even though I'm taller than he is, I still look up to him. There was a lot of different, the, the bebop and that kind of thing that was happening. You know, there was a rock, rock and roll. You know, there's, um, there's uh, the disco. I mean, there's all of those different eras of music and they all had their time or their tenure. Back then, it was more about that soul music. I've learned to love all styles of music. Even when it comes to rock, there's Led Zeppelin, there's Iron Maiden, but then also used to work at a record store. To, in order to sell that kind of music, you gotta listen to it to understand how to be a good salesman because then when they come in and they wanna know what something sounds like or if it's good or bad, you can at least explain it to them. And then what happens is if you come to the store at least five times, I know what you like. So then I can say, hey, well, you might wanna check this. So all sides of the music I've, I've locked into it. You know, being here at the radio station, we played everything when it comes to jazz, blues, reggae, gospel, hip hop. And so with that, we were the radio station back in the day that made the impact on the sound of Minneapolis and Minnesota to where they came up with that Minneapolis sound. We were the first to play it. We were the first to put it out there. We were the first to make it happen. And then a lot of times with like even with Prince's music, they were so afraid of it because they didn't understand him. Who was afraid of it? The, 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 the views of the listening audience when it comes to radio. Because radio was supposed to be, when it came to people of color, it was just straight soul. When you talked anything about sexuality, that was more, more like a taboo. Because when it comes to Camel J Radio and being that community radio station, and then, you know, looking at it from a community side, it was something that we were missing when it comes to our music. We knew it exists. And then when we finally got that voice, it was like the thing that everybody gravitated to. But Camel J back then was it, and today it is still it. And I've been here 38, going on 39 years of the broadcasting side and watching the community from where it was to where it is today. But it was that soul and that spirit that you feel within it that made th those songs what they were. You know, and then when you when you got somebody who can write and they can add words to to that music because the musical flavor itself was already on hit, man, that's how hits develop. 